All right. Let's get down to business. Check this out. I just want to make you laugh real quick in this short video about how limiting belief systems can prevent you from seeing the beauty in everything, right? So check this out, right? A student of mine introduced me to a Japanese painter over here in Japan. He's pretty famous, and he's getting more and more famous over here. And he saw my work, because I'm tattooed up, right? So he has a lot of different exhibitions um, in Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto, all these places over here. And he has a lot of different series of works. But one of his series of works is called the Itazumi series. Itazumi just means tattoo in, <clears throat> excuse me, in Japanese. And the guy's cool, man. He's really cool. So, yeah, this brother, I hooked up with him the other day, <laughs> yesterday, and went to meet him. He wanted to do, he wants to do a painting of my tattoo. You know, in the beginning, I was like, well, because my tattoo's not finished. But um, he was like real amped up and excited about it because all the work he does with tattoos, usually they're already completed. So he was happy to get a chance to, you know, take some photos of someone's work who's like, you know, mid-process. But um, I just want to give you a sample of his work. He makes these giant, like, portraits all hand done by hand. You know, he's, he's painting these things, but they look so beautiful as if they were actual, it was an actual photograph. So, the real photos on my iPhone, but I'm using the iPhone now, obviously, so I had to um, just take a quick little picture to give you a general concept of what his work looks like. You can't really see it too clear, but I'm gonna just hold this up for now. Um, so you can see that, that there is him, you can't see his face clear. But um, that's a life, you know, a painting. Which, you know, this photo doesn't know justice, but I'm just giving you an, an idea what I'm talking about. So that's a painting. If you see in the actual photo, it looks like a real photograph someone took, but it's actually a painting that he made of um, a person's body. And it's real beautiful. That's me chilling with him the other day. <laughs> yeah. Only the bald head guys with glasses, man. Only those entities, those bald heads and the goatee. You know what's up, man. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. But yeah, man, we were chilling yesterday. So, <clears throat> one more time. That's another photo. He won this big exhibition over here. His name is Takamura Sojiro. And I know y'all can't understand this, but that's his work. He won an award for his work. I'm trying to zoom in on that. That's one of his paintings right there. Full body style, yakuza, you know what's up. So anyway, um, this is business car, gangster. Check that out. Yeah, you yeah, don't know about that. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, though, so the reason I brought this up, right, is I met him the other day, and this is how you know when true powerful entities come together, man, because. It's nothing to be ashamed of with the human body, man, that these physical bodies we manifest. So I met him, never met him before in my life, met him yesterday, and it was at a student of mine's art studio, her family's art gallery. And, you know, we sat down, chatted for a few minutes, went upstairs, and he was like, all right, boom, take your clothes off. And I was like, all right. And this guy, this cat took nude photos of me for like two hours straight. Just non-stop, non-stop photos, photos, and it was nothing sexual, <laughs> but I had to do a lot of different positions, you know, put my arms up and so he could get all the angles of all the tattoos of everything. And, um, yeah, man, it was cool. So I came in and I met, no, I came in, I met this other cat, right? So I'm trying to tell him about, you know, I was talking about how in Japan, um, you know, it's unfortunate, man. Language barriers break a lot of things down. So, or prevent a lot of things from happening. So this guy, man, in Japan, unfortunately, he can't sell his work. You know, these big, beautiful painters, man, because the belief system's over here, man. You know, I was talking to him. I said, yo, what's sad, man? You can't, you can't really make money from this, you know, for his work? And he's like, nah, because, you know, in Japan, tattoos are taboo. I'm like, what year are we in? <laughs> yeah, man, so... These cats are walking around, not giving him the props that he deserves. And this guy, 
can blow out any of these phony ass man manga artists over here. That's mangas, Japanese comics. And shit, this guy's doing some real work, putting it down. I mean, can you look at this? I mean, just look at that, man. This is hand painting of a real actual person's body. And it came out, I mean, he hit every detail on point. I mean, when I first saw his work, I thought it was a photograph. I mean, look at that shit, man. That's gangster. That's straight gangster right there. <laughs> I had to take it back old school. But you know what I'm trying to say, man. That shit is gangster. And they're talking about, no, no, that's taboo. You can't, you can't do that. You know, so I showed it to this other person, right? And I see he had like a kind of frown on his face and shit. And then by the time I finished, this cat was like, yeah, well, I got kind of a prejudice, so I'm not really feeling his work. And I'm like, well... I wanted to say, why are you hating? But I was like, so well, why you got to have a prejudice for? He's like, oh, I just, I got a prejudice against tattoos. And I'm like, all right, why don't we put the fucking prejudice on hold for a minute? And why don't we acknowledge the actual artist here? You see, and it's like, this goes the belief system. Now, because over here in Japan, um, the Yakuza, which is, you know, the mafia over here, they got such as negative image. So anyone with a tattoo is considered connected to Yakuza. Now, obviously, I'm not Japanese. I'm not... You already know how I roll. <laughs> I'm on a whole multi-dimensional level, so nobody can fuck with me. But anyway, I'm not Japanese, obviously. But, you know, they'd be like, oh, no, you can't show this, you can't... This. For y'all who don't know, back home or wherever, in other parts of the world, who haven't manifested here, Japan is cool, I like it, that's why I'm still here, but there's some things, man, that just... Still living in the past, man. So there's a lot of places that I can't go, which I don't mind. I mean, they got, okay, onsen. Onsen is like a kind of hot spring, public bath, and all these things. I can't go to that, but fuck, I, what do I need that for? I take a bath at home. I understand it's a coach, and I'm not knocking it, but um, I don't need to be chilling with a bunch of dudes, you know, hanging out in the shower room and stuff, man. You know, not there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying, you know, if I take a bath, I'd rather be... In the private, man, as I do my meditation and stuff, I can't meditate cats hanging around me and stuff unless that's what we're there to do. It ain't nothing about being, you know, paranoid or gay and all that kind of stuff. I already went through that in my last video. Um, so y'all know if I got any of my brothers and sisters out there who decide to go whatever way they want to treat, whether you call it gay or whatever, you know y'all got my love and support. But um, anyway, so... Yeah, man, this cat was like, he was hating, man. <laughs> he was basically hating, and he's like, oh, yeah, I'm not feeling in his work, and oh, I got a prejudice, and that's not real artwork. And I'm like, you know, what could I do? So I was like, well, you know, regardless of your, you know, how do I say, regardless of your prejudice that you have about this, you can't deny that this is some real beautiful artwork. And you see, this goes back to what I'm saying. Like, a lot of people... And I've had this many times because I'm over here and I'm tattooed up, you know, pretty serious like that too. And instead of people acknowledging the beauty of the artwork that the artist actually put time in, you know, time and effort to make this beautiful multi-dimensional painting, which is actually access into another realm of reality. I'm about to get deep with this shit. But um, they don't see that. They link straight to the negative, to the to the negative connotation. Oh, it's a tattoo. It's mafia. It's yakuza. It's this and that. And oh, and it's like, it's ignorant, man. Because <laughs> it's like the artist put in some. Now this guy, this cat that I was chilling with, right? He's real cool. He's no yakuza anyway. He's just a cool cat, doing his thing with his paintings and his artwork, and. People who hate and won't give him the props that he deserves because they, they're so caught up in the paradigm that tattoos equals Yakuza or equals Mafia and all the negative connotations connected with that. They completely disregard the artist for the work, effort, talent, and skill that he has put in emotion invested into this beautiful piece of artwork, man. So it's like, you know... People who still believe they're human never cease to amaze me. All my fellow entities out there, all my fellow spiritual brothers and sisters, multi-dimensional brothers and sisters who still want to play and continue to play at being human because that's what it is. That's what happens. So, yeah, man. And like I said, um, showing you pictures on an iPad doodle 
an iPhone <laughs> that's recording don't really do it justice. But I'm going to just give y'all a sample of what I look like tattooed up. If I could find it in here and stuff, man. But yeah, here I go. This is me right here chilling. Let y'all know. Let y'all know what's up over there, man. This is my work right here. Most of y'all who got me on Facebook, you already seen this photo, so y'all know what's up. But for others who don't know, there you go. Got my Hanya mask over there. It's a Japanese mask with a dragon on the body. And um, yeah, this is a photo. So he's going to make basically a painting of this. Um, <clears throat> either that or the front. He asked me which do I like. Do I want the front painted or the back? I said, hey man, you're the artist. You do you. And this is some serious work, man. It takes one year to finish, to complete with, you know, complete his work. So he was like, yeah, man, I'm going to give you... Let me tell you how cool this guy is, man. Like I said earlier in the video. Not as bad enough he don't even get paid for this. He's doing this just for the beauty of the artwork and for himself. And how gangster is this guy? When he finishes his whole painting that takes him one year to make, what does he do? He turns around and gives it up as a peace offering and a gift to the person who modeled for him. How gangster and original is that? I know a lot of other cats who go, nah, fuck that, you gotta pay me. This guy is cool, man. So, yeah, man, that's, um, that's what I wanted to show y'all about that, man. So, don't let these belief systems, man, these faulty belief systems hold you back, man, because there's so many things going on. I'm looking for something, that's why I'm looking down. So many things going on in the world um, that, you know, you could really learn some things about other reality because every time you meet someone you're opening up another door to another reality every person that you come across every fellow entity that you come across they're not just when you meet someone you're not just meeting them you got to look past the surface you're if they let you into their worldview worldview you're also entering into their reality <clears throat> excuse me you're entering into their paradigm and <clears throat> you have to appreciate if a person wants to let you in to accept it for what it is, man, and hold all of the limiting belief systems at the door. Check them at the door because you couldn't miss out on possibly meeting one of the coolest people that you would ever meet, you know. And um, let me see here. All right, this is a photo, man. I, it's not, like I said, it's not clear, but just to give you all a visual. Hold on, let me see if I got I don't know, I was trying to give you a visual of what um, the front of my tattoos look like and stuff. Um, I should just disrobe right now, let me stop. <laughs> Y'all know I like to play around and get funky with it and stuff, man. But um, this is just an idea, man. This is an old photo way back, but just to give you an image of how I get down. It's my man Rich back home, did all my work. Um... Yeah, this is an old photo, but y'all get the idea. Let me zoom in, zoom in for a minute. So as you can see, got the full body. I was much more skinny at that time, bulking up now. But yeah, as you can see there, I got the full arm right there. Got the chrysanthemum, this koi fish on that arm over there, you know. And I got my dragon, got my dragon right there, man. Y'all don't know about that dragon power, man. <laughs> But yeah, it's that dragon, many dragons on the arm, on the chest, letting them know, letting them know, yeah. <laughs> All right, let me stop playing around. But anyway, so yeah. Um, now, since I still got some time, and actually I know I got a lot of time, I got like 10 minutes, but um, let me just kick this off. Since I talked about tattoos and belief systems, I might as well just turn this video into a tattoo magic video. Um... Now, my man recently, he's thinking about getting a tattoo, so I'm supporting him on that and letting him know that it is a good thing to get a tattoo. Forget about all the, the nonsense you heard. Um, <clears throat> tattoo could be a lot of things, man. It has a lot of different meanings for a lot of different people. Some For some, it's a rite of passage. For some, it could just mean anything. If you want to get into beliefs, we'll be here all day, but... <clears throat> excuse me. We, um, a tattoo can mean whatever you want it to mean. Now, way, way back, I did, did I make a video? I don't know if that was a video or, I think it was just a writing I made on my blog about tattoo magic. 
And I went into some detail on that, but... <clears throat> Damn, man. They don't want me telling y'all this shit. <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's keep track of time. I'm going to go over here. So, yeah, check this out. When you get a tattoo, and I probably said this on the blog, but it don't matter because some people might not read it. Um, a tattoo is more than just a piece of art. This is why you have to really go deep and figure out what you're getting. And the meanings of a tattoo can change a lot of times and as much as you change. And you always change. So when you get a tattoo today and it has one meaning, 10 years from now, it may have a different meaning than the one you originally got it for. And for a lot of people, a lot of other entities out here, when you get certain tattoos, at the time, you may not understand why you're getting it. But when you bring in the nature of bleed-throughs from other probable realities and your future and past, present selves and all this stuff, sometimes it will become obvious to you of why you made those decisions to decide on those tattoos. So, what can what is tattoo magic? And Now, what it is for me, and you can make up your own ideas about it, tattoo magic for me is you choose... <coughs> Excuse me, you choose a piece of artwork that is, it has sentimental value to you. It has a deep meaning to you, a deep connection for you. And you let that be your symbol of power. Now, you could use that symbol. Like for me, for example, right? You saw the dragon I had on my chest, right? I got the dragon. I got the Hanya mask on the, on the back. The dragon's head here. The dragon's body mixed in with the Hanya mask. I got dragons on the right side. I got snakes on the arms. I got all this stuff, man. I got koi fish over here. And it's all connected into one beautiful piece. You know, nothing's separated. You know, they, they each have their own individuality, but at the same time, they're all united as one. And for me, what my tattoos symbolize is, you know, it's funny because from one angle, cats over here, they go, all right, you got the Japanese tattoo, you think you're a Yakuza. And it's... They don't even know what I'm to, where I'm coming from, man. It's not even about that. Yes, I admire the work. Um, and I understand the connotations that come with it over here, but you see, for me, my tattoos are a symbolism of where we all originate from, and that's the power of the imagination, the other realms. Because I have, you look at the dragon, the dragon's a mystical creature, and it's made up of nine other creatures. You can look online and find out what they're made up of. I'm going to get into that, but it's made up of nine other animals. Um... For when I was a kid, the dragon always had the biggest air of mystery for me because, like, you have all these other creatures, you know, that show up in books and everything, but the dragon has always been, it's the oldest, one of the oldest mystical creatures. And if you go to any other country on the globe, they all have talks about dragons and these gods that came from the sky. Now, I'm not getting into reptilians and all this shit, but, um... Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. If you do your research, you will see that dragons have unlimited power. They can cross between realities. They can shapeshift. Do your search on the lore, and you find out. Now, of course, all this stuff is coming from belief systems. And who created the dragons? The speakers. And us other multidimensional beings. I understand, even though I have this on my body, I do understand that the dragon symbolizes a lot of things for a lot of different people. A lot of people, especially with strong cultural heritage and, what's the word, patriotic backgrounds to the country, whether it be a, you know, in Asia, Japan, Korea, China, all these things. But um, at the end of the day, what they don't realize is that it goes much deeper than that, and the dragon is a symbol of multidimensional power. Um, now, there are many symbols of multidimensional power, but this is just the one that I chose to represent on my physical body and this physical reality so yeah man the dragon has the ability to shape shift and cross onto the other plane these other planes of reality now when i go to bed at night i use that symbolism to power me up so when i cross over into other realms i know that this is the power see this tattoo is simply just a representation of my inner reality and a lot of people a lot of people can't get that deep, man. You know, they just see it and they go, all right, this cat got some tattoos. Maybe he's obsessed with Japan and he just likes the culture. And 
yeah, I do like Japan, and I do like the culture over here, but it's not about that. It goes more deeper than that. This is a pictorial representation of what I stand for, and that is multidimensional creativity. But see, if I told somebody that, oh man, what your tattoo stand for? It stands for multidimensional creativity and the power to enter other realms of imagination and reality to create my own reality and to help others manifest theirs. They're going to be like, oh. Huh? <laughs> so for some cats, they can't roll like that. So it's much easier to just be like, yeah, man, it's Japanese artwork. <laughs> now you see how limited information not only limits what I can explain to people, it also limits the amount of information that they can receive. If they're not open, I can't get deep with them like that. If they're open, I can just let hit them with it and let them know what it's all about. But if they're still trapped on playing human, hey, keep playing human, man. That's what happens. You get limited information, and i got to give it to you simple. I'm not saying that you're not worthy or you're not good enough to get the truth, but if you ain't rolling like I'm rolling, hey, that's all you get. <laughs> so, yeah, man. I, I know this video is a little on unbalanced and I probably got to do a more thorough one on this tattoo magic stuff but as well as far as I'm here and as long as I'm here I um right back to the story so this is a pictorial representation um representing me and my tattoos get more deep but I can't get naked now or can I let me stop <laughs> fuck around somebody walk by get me fired anyway so yeah, man. Belief systems limit people. Tattoo magic unrestricts people. And anybody who has a tattoo, right? It doesn't matter if this tattoo... I wrote this on my blog. <clears throat> and man, they really don't want me telling this shit. Just kidding. There's nobody limiting me. I can tell you anything I want. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, so even if you have a tattoo, right, it doesn't matter if you got the tattoo, even if you never heard about tattoo magic or if you just crossing this video now and you think, oh, well, I can't do it because of my tattoo, I got it 10 years ago, 20 years ago, whatever. It's alive. How does this work? Bust it. Any people who get down into this magic stuff, right, You, we all know that blood has, um, it's a powerful... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, I can't think of the word right now. It's a powerful connecting source of energy and power um, to everything. So you have to visualize this. When you get, if you're getting a tattoo now and you decide to, when you do get it, or for those who've already done this, it's already there. People who already have tattoos, you're already set. All you have to do is mentally activate it and put your intention until you want it to represent. And that's it. It doesn't matter if when you got it, it thought it meant, you know, it meant to you this or that. You could always change it. You have the power to manipulate and create your reality. So if it's on you, it could be whatever you want it to be. But um, as you get tattooed, the mixture of the blood and the pain, the excitement, and all these things combined into one is what brings your tattoo to life. And being that it's on your body... I mean, just think about this. The tattoo has a life of its own because it's when people see it, it affects people's consciousness in different ways. So when somebody looks at my tattoos, no two people, no two entities have the same <clears throat> idea. One person might think, oh, that guy's dirty. Another person might think, damn, that guy's gangster. One person might think, oh, you know, he's, he thinks he's Japanese, he thinks he's going to be young. Because another person might say, hmm, that guy might be deep. Everybody's different. So... That's how your tattoos have a life of their own. They reflect you and affect people in different ways. Um, so, while it's on your body, the, what I meant to say, the connection to saying all that is that the tattoo doesn't, doesn't survive without you. If your tattoo dies, that means you die. If you die, the tattoo dies. Now, we know there's no death, but you know what I'm trying to say. Neither, you need both each other to exist. You have to coexist. So, my tattoo, the blood that flows through me and through my veins flows through my tattoos and it powers up the skin that my tattoos are generated on. 
and depending on how good I keep my skin up depends how good that depending on how good I keep my skin up that reflects through my tattoos if I got good skin my tattoos look good if I eat healthy and look healthy tattoos look healthy I eat shit food I look like shit do the math tattoos come out shitty <laughs> so yeah man this is what's up this is what's going on so there's so many other things I could get into with this tattoo man, but like I said, I apologize. I'm really running out of time here, and I gotta go in a few minutes. But um, <clears throat> give y'all a little something to meditate on. If you have a tattoo, look at it, put your intention into it, meditate on your tattoo. This should be no. If you have a tattoo on your body, right? Check this out. This should be no other symbol that has any meaning to you except that tattoo on your body. I don't care if it's a fucking flower you got back in the 80s. I don't care if it's a little dirty, burnt out looking, washed out tattoo. You can get that updated too, you know, if you want. Just go to the tattoo shop, get it um, done over. But I don't care what it is. That should be the only symbol to symbolize you. Because if it's going to be on your body, if it's all tattoos over for life, not for life, but here as long as you in this physical reality... If you're going to have any symbolism on your body, you need to give it a, some meaning and some, what's the word I'm looking for? Just let it have a meaning for you, man, on a personal, deep, multidimensional level. Don't walk around with a symbol on your body that has completely no meaning to you. Because like, well, what, what was the point then of you having this, man? You better put that shit to work. Make it work for you. Let it be... You know, okay, what kind of things could, what kind of, what could I use my tattoo for? Check this out. If you had a tattoo on your, just say on your wrist, right? Yeah, a little tattoo on your wrist. That could help you when you want to cross over to other realms. People talk about, oh, you know, when you do a lucid dream, you got to check your hands and fucking light switches and all that old school stuff. Yo, check this out. You focus on that image on your arm and you burn into your memory. You know exactly what it looks like. When you cross over to other realms, you say, hold up, check my tattoo. And either A, you check the tattoo, it doesn't look um, like it originally supposed to look, and you know, ah, I must be in the other realms. It might be missing, and that's your sign, oh, I might be in the other realms. Or, the simple act of you just checking it. You do that enough times here in physical waking reality, you cross back over, and you'd be like, alright, let me check my tattoo. And every time you check your tattoo, you don't just look at it, you make that be a connection point for when you look at it, you immediately focus yourself into that moment point, and then you question, alright, where am I? What am I doing here? How did I get here? And really think of, are you still in physical reality? Or have you actually crossed over into the realms and you're completely unaware? So there's a lot of things you could do with that. <clears throat> when you get into the bigger, heavier stuff, like I'm rolling with, or any other, anybody else out here, other entities that have tattoos, that's when you start working some real power. Because you like, you know, I had a reality I crossed over one time where I manifested as a dragon. And I had this big power, man. I was this big fucking dragon flying through the sky. Cats were trying to kill me, <laughs> as always. <laughs> but anyway, I manifested as this dragon. I had this... It was so powerful, man, because I never had a dream like that before. I never shape-shifted into a dragon. But it was the first time I did it. And the power was so immense, man. It was like, whoa, this is heavy, man. And I was shape-shifting. I was doing all these things. And I remember towards the end of this reality I was in, someone gave me a, handed me a book. When I opened the book... They said that I was actually an ancient demon that existed, you know, from the old days and stuff. Now, I'm not going to get into all that, but bottom line is I had a history in that reality in this dragon form. So if you do your research, you'll see all type of connection points dealing with dragons. I'm not telling anybody you need to have a dragon only. I'm just saying what's up with my side of the story and what I'm working with. But, um, yeah, man, when I cross over to the realm, my tattoos power me up, man. Um, I get all type of energy from them. And even here, see, it's like going back to what I said. This is my symbolism back here in this reality, right? Because, like, it's, how do I say this? It keeps me connected to the other realms. It keeps me connected to the dreaming, to the astral, to the multidimensional realities, that are all existing simultaneously. It keeps me connected to all of them because a lot of cats, a lot of people want to wear clothes, right? I call it cospl cosplay. Cosplay is when over in Japan they dress in a costume and shit. A lot of people want to role play. Just like a lot of people want to wear play human, <laughs> you know? 
they want to dress up on the weekends and wear their hats and the fake gold chains and all this, but then come Monday morning, they got to put the suit back on and be all tight, and they forget who they are. A tattoo has power because you never forget who you are. Every time you look at it, you're like, all right, yeah, that's right, I'm, I'm this badass, multi-dimensional being, nobody can touch me. And that's how you feel. And other people feel that too. So when I come back from my deep meditation state overnight, a.k.a. sleep is what they call it, and I ride back in my bed, you know, that's why most people forget. They have nothing to reconnect them to that. It's bad enough we don't have this um, important culture in our society of dreams, dream manipulation, and traveling to other realms. So when we come back here, it's like, oh, man, I had this deep experience. Turn the TV today, you know, this celebrity did this and that, and then you forget it because during the day, there's no other connection points. But if you link up your beautiful artwork, your body work, with your multidimensionality and your travel into other realms, you always be connected to that. And when you, every time you look at it, it will power you up. And these things symbolize your power. Like I said, pictorial representation of your power. So these pictorial representation, representations, when I look at them, I feel the power flowing through me. And I say, all right, yeah, that's right. And it just keeps me both focused and balanced in this reality and all other realities of existence. So it prevents me from forgetting what I am. So every time I take a look at my work, I remember, yeah, that's right. I am multidimensional. Because physical reality is really powerful. The longer you stay here, um, it's easy to get trapped up in the daily bullshit and you lose sight of what you really are. Next thing you know, you're worried about this guy said this about me, and this guy's talking trash about me, and this bitch said this, and that motherfucker said that, and oh, I'm gonna kill them niggas, and <laughs> you done lost the game. Playing human. Stop playing human. Start being multi dimensional. So, leave it at that for now. Gotta get up out of here. I don't know what I'm gonna title this video. I'll probably call it Tattoo Magic. Keep it simple Tattoo Magic and Limiting Belief System. Bam, there you go. Um, Get back at your peace, love, and harmony as always, and talk to y'all soon. One.